Here's Gaucha. He beat Balestero, Colazo, and Delgado from Nicaragua, Puerto Rico, and Ecuador, respectively. He is a member was this past season of the Los Angeles Matadors of the World Series in box of boxing. It's the groundbreaking series, one of a kind, developed by Aiba, a pro-style competition where the boxers retain their Olympic status. And here, Charaski and Correa, Blair and Espinoza are the opponents that Junior Castillo beat to get where he is now, which is on the path to the ring of the final round. So we are all set here as Gausha is in the corner, headgear on and awaiting the opening bell. The referee from Brazil right here, a Jones Silva. Touches gloves with the boxers. The judges, Bonet, Ortiz, Labe, Hermosilla. At ringside, here to witness this contest and do more than witness. Play a big role. They are going to count the punches, score the contest, and ultimately decide the victor unless one of these combatants takes it into their own hands to decide by stopping this contest early. Terrell Gache, 24 years old, from Cleveland, Ohio. He participated in the 2009 IEBA World Championships. In 2010, in the World Series of Boxing, he boxed as well as in 2011. 2012, he was the USA National Champion, first place. Junior Castillo, 25 years old took second at the 2009 Dominican National Championships and 2010. He boxed in the Aiba World Championships in 2011 in Baku, Azerbaijan, and also at the Pan American Games last year in Guadalajara, Mexico. Castillo boxing in the Southpaw stance, Gaucha in the Orthodox. And they're definitely feeling each other out here as we make our way through the first round. The referee issuing a caution for these boxers to box. Right now, they're just doing a little pity patter with their gloves, looking for an opportunity. Overhand left hook by Gaucher. So far, not too much action as these boxers looking for an opportunity to make the first mark, draw first blood. There is an imperative necessity for each of these boxers, if they want to come out victorious in this contest, to set the stage now and let the judges know that they are the ones. It's in their control. Right now, it's anyone's game as we reach the halfway point of round number one, and neither boxer has yet shown what he's got. They both have a lot to offer. They wouldn't be here at this final stage if they didn't. It's a testament to the high skill level of both of these boxers that neither has found an opening just yet in one another's defense. Gosha now has Castillo up against the ropes. Castillo bounces, but off the ropes. Left hook. There's a second time Gosha has thrown that left hook, partially deflected by Castillo as Castillo circles away to his left. He's walking right into that big right hand of Gosha. He ought to be careful as he circles to his left. And so far, with just about 30 seconds, this is anyone's round. With lengthening shadows starting to be cast on this contest, each of these boxers can take it if they want, or they could sit back and watch. Perhaps this first round needed to happen this way. And you hear a 
Slight roar from the crowd as Gausha pulls ahead with a 3-0 lead after round number one. Take a look at some action here from that last round and you see Gausha was the more effective aggressor. Looked like for a moment there. Castillo thought he may have been cut. There's a right hand to the chest of Gausha. That one looked like it connected. That left hook sailed over the head of Castillo. Right there again you see sailing over the head of Castillo doing a good job trying to avoid that punch. Of individual valor that goes into this sport. It is a one man sport. There's no team once you're inside the apron. Sure, you've got your coaches and your training partners that got you where you are today, but once that bell rings, it's just you and your opponent. And right now, these two boxers couldn't be more aware of that. Gausha has Castillo up against the ropes. Castillo circles to his left. Gausha, a very disciplined mind he has when it comes to the sport of boxing. When he decides to let his hands go, it can happen with devastating effect. But Castillo, no stranger to adversity, an iron resolution to stand his ground and ward off Gausha. Will he be able to reverse the tide of round one? Can he score more points in this round than he did in the last and try and even this contest out after round two? We're gonna find out as we get set to hit the halfway point and the referee is going to issue a caution once again it's not been one question, but two, that both of these boxers have been exhorted to box. Not something you see that often at this level. You don't need to convince these youngsters to let their hands go, but apparently the referee wants to see more action. Both of these boxers quite cautious. An immense complacency by both of these boxers towards the closing moments of round number two. Castillo comes forward. Castillo has not quite opened up his arsenal yet. There's a lurking suspicion that he may have something in store, but if not now, then when? You don't want to leave it till the third round. There's all sorts of obstacles that come into play when one needs to come out of the hole that they find themselves in after two rounds of losing on the scorecard. So Castillo really needs to open up here. Well, Gachet may start to run away with this one. Left, nice crafty left hook, good footwork by Gausha. But the referee issues a caution to hitting behind the head. And Castillo walks Gausha down. Gausha doing a good job circling to his left, away from the big left hand of Castillo. Presumably big left hand. We haven't yet seen it in this contest. Here at the Maracanazino Gymnasium in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Gaucha takes a one nothing point spread away from round number two, increasing his margin to four to zip. So Gaucha looking here in round number two to pin Castillo up against the ropes. He's able to land a scoring blow in this round, and that will bring us to the third and final round of this 
75 kilo gram contest. Terrell Gausha out of the red corner for the United States and Junior Castillo from Republica Dominicana in the blue corner. The judges and referees that have come to this tournament representing Morocco and Trinidad and Tobago and Puerto Rico, Colombia, Ecuador and Cuba, Ireland, France, Canada, El Salvador, shall I go on, Dominican Republic, England, the United States and Poland, Algeria, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, Italy, Venezuela and Turkey. Truly an international tournament. The ITOs, the international technical officials from Ireland, two from Germany, Turkey, Belarus, and Malaysia, Korea, Denmark, Morocco, Chinese Taipei, and Spain, Jordan, Indonesia, Nigeria, and Moldova. So Aiba sends their crews from all around the world to come to this tournament, which, by the way, is represented by 35 participating countries. And you see there Castillo and Gaucha lock up, and the referee cautions them. Boxing resumes, just under over two minutes to go. Gausha up four to zero. Coming into this third round, Castillo has not yet opened up. Somewhat of a frozen wonder as he's scored one punch in this contest. That was in, well, there may have been a, a one scoring punch. He lost the second round one to zero. So technically he has not even scored a punch yet. It's been a shutout for Gausha, who scored four. And the referee issues a caution to Castillo to keep his head up. If Gausha could pitch a shutout here and hold Castillo to zero points, that would be a remarkable defeat or a remarkable feat in and of itself. A certain aggressive selfishness by Terrell Gausha as he circles away. Nice left hook. He's thrown that punch at least once in each round to good effect. Keeps his hands up high. He continues to circle, does Terrell, causing Castillo to follow him, walk him around the ring, and allows Gausha to pick him off with counterpunching techniques like that right there. That left hook again, it's been doing good for him. air has settled above this contest. The referee issues a caution to Castillo for turning his back and Gaucha with a nice high defense. Chin down, elbows in, good fundamentals, right hand and now Castillo lets his hands go as he has Gaucha up against the ropes. Gaucha pushes him down with his forearms. The referee issues a caution. Ten seconds to go in this contest. Will Gausha bring home a gold for the United States? He thinks he's got it. Lunges to his left. That will do it. The scores will be tallied if indeed Castillo has not landed a scoring blow in this round. He will have given Gausha a shutout. A knightly achievement indeed if he can garner it. There's a look of Junior Castillo from the corner. Cannot be too confident in his performance tonight, but nothing to be ashamed of. He's already an Olympian. Both of these boxers are. They've already written their tickets to London. Although it 
was a 2-2 round. Gausha gets the victory, 6-2, gets the gold for the United States, and thereby gives the final ticket to London in this 75 kilogram men's middleweight division to Enrique Colazzo of Puerto Rico. Colazzo lost to Gausha in the quarterfinals, and given that there were five spots to go to London, he gets the fifth. So there's another happy camper who we have not seen. All right, folks, we are now looking at the middleweight medalists of this 2012 AIBA American Olympic qualifying event. Before this tournament began, or excuse me, before today's competition, the following countries earned the following quotas in the Olympics. Puerto Rico, four. Brazil, four. Ecuador, five. Republica Dominicana, three. Argentina, two. The United States, six. Colombia, two. Cuba, one. Mexico, two. Venezuela, two. And Nicaragua, one. Jose Espinoza and Delgado, two of the bronze medalists in this tournament at middleweight, 75 kilograms, take their rightful place on the platform. And from the Republica Dominicana, the silver goes to Junior Castillo. These flowers being given by Sebastian Pereira, the special projects manager of the Sports of Brazilian Boxing Federation. And the medal being placed around the neck of the gold medalist, Terrell Gachet of the United States of America. That was presented by the NOC president, Mr. Agberto Guimareas, who was also the 2016 Rio Organizing Committee Sports Director. So there they are, folks, your four medalists in the middleweight division. Again, folks, a preview of what's to come in London. Gaucha, Castillo, Delgado, and Espinoza. Four of the Olympians that you will see in London. The fifth one, a gentleman by the name of Enrique Calazzo from Puerto Rico. 
those five men will be representing the middleweight division 